It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Palmer, and we are joined today by Felipe Fuentes. He is a member of the Los Angeles City Council. And so I want to speak with you about our climate. It's hard to deny that it's getting hotter. We're facing a drought. And I'm wondering what the city of Los Angeles can do or is doing to address that issue. Well, we've done a really good job historically to become more efficient as it relates to water use. And so we're continuing on a very good trend, but there is so much more that we can do. Major cities like Melbourne and Australia mm -hmm. have figured out that heat is a very, very uh, terrible byproduct of these droughts and, and climate change. So we're working to try to figure out how it is that we better measure sort of the impacts of heat and how do we set a goal to reduce uh, our heat island effect in Los Angeles. And I guess, look, you know, we are in a state of 38 million. We're in a city of 4 million, but we're in a world of 7 billion. And so I'm wondering how much can we really do as Angelinos to impact climate change? Well, so, so here's a really important fact. Mm -hmm. uh, at UCLA, Do Dr. Alex Hall Center of Climate Change mm -hmm. is working on helping people understand that five degrees in change mm -hmm. makes a huge difference in people's lives. So on the third day of a heat storm, if we don't figure out how to bring relief, you're in a lot of trouble. It means mortality. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we've got to start thinking, how do we dispatch resources better so that we keep the city cooler and people healthy and safe? So what are you doing? So, How are we doing that? So we're doing a lot of things. One, we're beginning to try to index heat temperatures in the city of Los Angeles to understand areas that could do a little bit more to be smarter in the deployment of trees, cooling mm -hmm. centers, mm -hmm. et cetera. But another thing that we're doing is really trying to figure out how to leverage the tax dollar better, smarter, Every time a shovel hits the ground in the city of Los Angeles, we should solve multiple problems, not just one. You, you mentioned the dispatch of cooling centers. It's remarkable to me in our city, which is large geographically, but in some ways compact, the west side could literally be 20 degrees cooler than in the middle of your district, I mean, literally, which is in the San Fernando Valley. And so it really presents challenges for city leaders because even though you represent a portion, you are a council member for the entire city. And so how do you address our kind of microclimates sure. within our beautiful city? Well, so one thing that we're doing for the ratepayer who uh, gets a bill from the Department of Water and Power is we're beginning to contemplate how to create new tiers for consumption mm. and pricing because the city, as you say, is not sort of the same all over right. the place. San Fernando Valley, 1.8 million people, 40% of the city, 20 degrees hotter. But one could argue, if I may say, that it's in those areas that are hotter that they can ill afford a spike, but they need more energy to keep cool. Am I right? You, you are. So that's right. why I think we've got to be smarter about how we uh, bill people and how those tiers are structured, right. number one, to, to account for the differences. And two, how do we dispatch uh, services in a smarter, better way? Mm -hmm. Santa Ana winds, tree canopies. There's a way for us to cool down parts of the city if we just deployed our resources. Talk to me about tree canopies. I'm really compelled by that notion because you know you drive down some streets in various parts of our cities. The tree canopies are just majestic. Talk to me about what you're doing. On so, that front. So, so let me so let me give you an example. Yeah. Melbourne, Australia, 13-year yeah. drought, millenni millennium remember, drought. Yes, yes. And so what they did is they realized that they had to cool their city by five degrees. Mm. They are now at a point where they've cooled their city by four degrees because they dispatch water reclamation plants closer to trees, figured out strategically where to tape back some of the pavement. But are we going to start? planting trees? I mean, I'd love to see that if we can. So we've had, yeah. you know, very good endeavors to do that. A million trees by the former mayor. Right, I remember that. What yes. we're doing now is adding some strategy behind that, uh -huh. trying to understand where do we best deploy them, where do we get the most shade and bang for your buck. His name is Felipe Fuentes. He's a member of the Los Angeles City Council. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.